Hello, hello. Thought I would document a project that my wife has me building. Um, I built a pantry in our house because our kitchen was too small for storage and we really had no place even in the cabinets to store everything. Um, so I built a pantry and what I'm doing is using barn wood because I get barns and buy barns and tear them down and sell the wood out of them but I keep some of the best wood for myself and I'm going to show you guys the barn wood I'm using for the barn door for the pantry so I'm going to have you guys check that out as well as um, just some quick designs that I have for it and then I will show you a project I'm currently working on and uh I don't know. I thought I would document it, see how this goes. Hopefully, uh, some people like it. It seems like a lot of people like the finished product, but I'll show you how I get to that. So, well, let's check it out. So, this is the project I'm currently working on. So, this is a bench for a table. And put the legs together. This is old reclaimed pine. And I think it turns out and looks great. You can leave the saw marks in it. I think it looks phenomenal. So... Let it dry. I did it yesterday. I'm gonna let it finish hardening up here and it'll be ready to go. So let's check out let's see here. Let's check out the uh, the barn wood for let's see. Well this is gonna be the bench. This is the bench for it. So I'm filling in some holes with some epoxy. And once I get some stain on it, it's going to look look phenomenal, but it's a 1 inch by 12 inch, and it's just really good stuff. So this is the wood that I'm using for the barn door for the pantry, and as you can tell, it has so much character. These two are 12 inches wide, 1 inch thick, and it's just, I mean, to me, it's the best wood you can get. And this is wood that I actually took out of a barn myself and I'm going to use in our house. So I couldn't bring myself to selling it. It's just some of this wood is too nice to sell to people, even though I could probably make some good money off of it. I like to have a memorable piece in my house. So take a good look at it because it's about to be turned into a door. All right, so kind of a quick glance at my plans the opening to my door in the pantry is six foot six by two foot seven so um in my head i'm just going to make it three foot wide and six foot eight tall now obviously there's rollers that have to be put on it and i left room for that put in a um, two by ten header um, when i frame the wall so i'll be able to tie into that for the rail up here but just, you know, I'm, I'm not really the type of person that draws out plans and, you know, goes exactly by plans. I think part of why my stuff kind of represents what I do and looks so good is because, you know, when I'm designing something or building it, I already have it in my head what I want to do. These are just, you know, rough dimensions that I go off of and Bob Ross, you know, happy little mistakes turn out to be good products. So, We'll uh, take a look here, and hopefully I have enough wood for this. I'm sure I do, but we'll go six foot eight by three foot. Well, here we go. Let's cut some wood. It's always depressing cutting a board like this. Just uh, I feel like boards like this should not be cut. So maybe it's just me, but wood that looks this good, in my opinion, just shouldn't be cut. It kind of hurts the soul because this wood has so much character. It's like, I feel like a hoarder because all I want to do is just keep it in my shed, never use it. You guys see what I'm saying? Look at this wood. It's just, it's just the prettiest wood I've ever seen. Brings a tear to my eye. Look how close the grain is on this wood. If my phone can pick it up. That is incredible. True old growth wood. Okay, 
so I have my boards cut to length, six foot eight, and it's approximately three foot across. Now I'm going to cut the top and bottom of the door and check this board out here. This also has so much character. I thought it would be perfect for a top and bottom board. We'll cut it and we'll be back. Can you even be a real woodworker without a glue bot? And yes, I use two different kinds of glue, but it's all wood glue, right? And oh, don't even get me started. You have to have one of these, right? Let's glue. So now we have it kind of the way I want it to look. This will be the top. Maybe that'll be the bottom. Don't know yet. Okay, so we are going to use... So when I tear down a barn, I keep the nails. And they get a little bit rusty on me. But I'm going to keep them all. And what I'm going to do is clean up the tops. And I'm going to put these in this wood to make it look like these are holding it down. But I'm going to cut it about a half inch, sharpen it, put them in the wood, but I'm going to glue the back side of these boards, and that's what's really gonna give the strength, but it uh, <clears throat> it's gonna look pretty nice. Let me get some of these ready, and we'll be back. So these are what I'm looking for. They're basically just gonna be fake nails that are stuck into this board here, and they're gonna look great. I'm gonna clean them up, obviously, but I take, nails that look like this and turn them into that. The messier the better, in my opinion. Put that around right there. Get some clamps out and put it on. So now we have it glued, clamped, and now we're going to put on some of these your little fake nail heads. Actually, I gotta clean them up real quick. Alrighty, so now I have the bottom done and the top is done, the glue is setting. So now I'm gonna work on the coat or the clear for it. And I've used this stuff before and really, really like it. So I'm gonna put this on and we'll see how it does. So this is what I was looking for. Got it glued down. And the nails are in place. Now just wait for the glue to set and should be good to go. We'll see how it turns out. So we have our first coat, and I think only coat with this. Once it dries, we'll be back tomorrow, and we'll go from there. We'll see what it turns out to look like. Okay, so it has officially been 24 hours since I cleared the barn door, and this is what it looks like. So as you can see, it's, I think it looks pretty good like the accent nails and it looks pretty nice. So where it's going is a pantry that I've been working on and probably should have recorded some videos on this, but so what this is is heart pine floors that I took out of a tobacco barn. And then this is just paneling at Lowe's. This is some beams that I covered with some reclaimed wood ceiling here is not 100% done, but it's going to have tin like the rest of it does. And then I still need to, you know, trim out the bottom and everything, but 
work in progress. So another piece of cypress right here. Here's the back side. That's actually the same wood. It's gonna be on the barn door, but anyway, so this is where it's going. And there was actually a wall here. Oh, it's gonna kill me for showing you guys this, but there was a wall here that separated the kitchen from the dining room. And we're gonna take the flooring out of the dining room and then this will be covered eventually, but it's a work in progress, guys, work in progress. So anyway, there is the door. Now I need to get the hardware up here, and then we'll go from there.